Hello! In this tutorial we'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS3 Extended to create a 3D ball effect. First what we need to do is go to File and a New Project and in this we'll be using the Width, Pixel, Resolution and the Background. The Width should be set to Pixels as in the Height and the Resolution and Width and Height should be set to 200 Pixels, Resolution 75 as you can see on mine. My background is going to be white and you can have it whatever colour you want. Right, just hit OK. Then use the Alt and the scroll bar on your on your mouse to zoom in to fit the page to your screen. Right, now we can use this ellipsis tool here. It's probably rectangular for you. What you need to do is just hit it and ellipse tool. And from one corner of the page, just hit shift and go right down to the other corner of the page. As you can see I'm trying to get my mouse roughly the same. So it makes the job easier. Let me use that tool up there. Right, it's black at the moment. What I want is a blue. So double click on that black bit there on your layout. And then hit blue. And then a light blue. Okay, now what we need is a new layer. So on your layers options, at the bottom, sorry about that. At the bottom, create a new layer. And then we have it. Let's rename that to oh, can we rename it? There we are. To the shadow. Has shadow got one D or two Ds? I'm not quite sure. I'm not very good at my spelling. Oh, it doesn't matter. No one's going to see it except you. And let me go up to this tool up here. It's probably rectangular again, but we want the ellipsis tool. And again, hit shift and get your mouse roughly where you had it before. And then bring it out right down to the bottom. Can we get it? Oh, that'd be fine there because you've been using the left side. Let's hit it again. Might want to go up a bit more. That's it. And across one. Perfect. Right, now what we needed is our brush tool. There it is. Oh, sorry. You want to hit that first. Make sure your uh, layer of shadow is on. And then get your brush tool and then opacity 12. And flow 50. I think that's the best. You can have it whatever you want, but I think it's best. Right, what you're going to do is click and drag it around the edge. As you can see, it hasn't done anything just yet. Release your mo uh, button again and click and go back up. What you're going to do is keep doing that several times until the shadow comes on. It's about the third or fourth time you can see the shadow coming on. As you can see, you can just see it about there. And the fourth one, you can see very well. Right, and just keep going over it. And don't forget to uh, release your button as well on your mouse. Like that. And what you want is to dark a bit to the edge of your um, circle. So just make that bit, bit more darker. There. And there we have it 3D ball effect. Zoom out, and you can see it's looking a bit better. Maybe you might want to go a bit more around here that you might have missed and then right here there we go, 3 deep ball I've just done it roughly as you can see there's a bit of light blue there in the middle uh, but if you take your time you'll get it perfect I hope this has helped and if you could do us a favour subscribe to our channel on YouTube or go on to our MySpace, it's my www.myspace.com forward slash Growford Productions. As you can see, Growford Production wants to see your pictures, and here's the competition, just click view more. And if you want to be our friends, as you can see, we've only got two, and JC Photography, professional photographer. So, I think that's it now, and goodbye.